Okay, so against Druid. I wonder if I keep Harrison just for Twig. Oh god, no! The ugly, the ugly one, the ugly egg! Chiro, why didn't you remind me? No one let me start a game after this one until I've until I've mechano egged, upgraded it. I wonder if it's correct for me to keep my coin, assuming it's Malagos, which I think is a, a reasonable assumption. I wonder if it's like actually reasonable. Ooh. Ugh, guess we just want this. I wonder if it's reasonable for me to keep coin to try and Crystal Smith Kangor coin Uther. Okay, it's actually ah, he has tokens. That is much worse for my hand. Much, much worse. My hand is horrible against this. Cool. I'll take Abomination. Abomination can be very good against tokens. Alright, well we have Shrink Ray. If I Shrink Ray kill, kill, we have a 1-1 one, one versus 2-1-1s. One, one, you have a 1-1. One, one. Okay. I have Abomination here. And then I have uh, Consecration to follow it up if he has um, Wisp or, uh, Soul of the Forest. Or I just have that. We can Pyro Coin Egg. I think I just play the Abomination. I think Pyro has the potential to be better. I think I just want to coin out Uther. So, infestation, he would just go face. Overdraw several cards. Overdrew a soul of the forest. That's really good. Oh, we have pyro quality. I can play egg pyro quality. And this gives me a pretty big board. I don't think I attack with my weapon. Do I make a guy? Guy's bad into Spreading Plague. Eh, it's fine. We have double Consecration in hand. This is what I, I really like about this deck, is the ability to like actually put pressure on after your board clears because of the egg effects. It's really powerful. Once this guy dies, Kangor brings back this and the Mechano Egg, which represents even more threat. And if I get a Zilliax on it, it's just so sick. I didn't get Zilliax off of my Stone Hills, which is like truly insane when you get that. Yep, there's Plague. Sure.
Okay. Could lay on hands this. Attack, lay on hands it. There's Zilliax. And now I have Kangor, Zilliax, and Endless Army. Like, I just have like all the tools now. Double Consecration, even. Okay. I feel like he's getting fatigued real quick. I mean, he's, he has already played both Tyrants, so he's just gonna fatigue his next card, right? I could just play Zilliac separately if I want. Kill this, kill this. I mean, or just attack, attack here. I don't know that really any of it matters. <laughs> I am gonna do this, because I want to I wanna Zilliax this guy, because Zilliaxing this guy sets up my Endless Army. He still has a Spreading Plague left. I'm just gonna play a Harrison. Well, there's no Whispering Woods left. This guy's very dead. So yeah, I mean, I think that one turn where I was able to Pyro Equality and end the turn with 15 power, or whatever it was, is a really good example of what makes this deck so good. All right, against the hunter, we'll keep these. The string grows payback for the Harrison top deck. I mean, he had such a good like early game with like double, you know, double wild growth into like double nourish into like every single thing. Mm. Okay, secret hunter. Well, Christology for Kangor is going to be really good against secret hunter, I think. We didn't get him. Uh, I have not played with Meat Wagon. It seems medium to me. You want to flanking strike this? That's why I played this over uh, Stonehill primarily, is because I don't want him to just flanking strike it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Flying strike giving him a 3 3 and me a 5 5. I'll take it. Do not approve of this huffer. Alright. We'll play Mechano Egg. I will. I can quality pyro coin. The problem with that quality pyro coin is that if this is actually rat trap, it's really bad for me. I'm just gonna pyro quality and make a guy. So we have an eight eight and a one one. We'll save our coin, not get rat trapped. I've actually seen a non-trivial number of rat traps, so I'm playing around it where I have the chance. I also don't really do anything with the coin, right? I can power quality coin Stonehill. It's like, obviously I get a 3-1 in the Stonehill and play potentially, but leaving him with the possibility of a 6-6 six, six, I think is, is worse. All right. We'll test for freezing. Okay, it's not freezing. Do I just want a Mossy here to kill this? This is Wandering or Explosive. I think my life total actually matters quite a bit. Let's just attack here, attack here, cube this guy. This lets us potentially like also shrink ray, you know, turn this into two eight eights. 
Alright. So I can attack and find out if it's Rat Trap this turn, basically. Because it's either Explosive, Wandering, or Rat Trap. I can also just cube this and make the two 8-8s. And I'm still at 27, so... Oh my. Okay. Well, <laughs> that was a pretty good turn. <laughs> What's your secret plan, friend? And th this is a game where my opponent went like secret into secret into max spellstone into to my side into Rexar. Oh my god. Sure. For wandering, freezing. Oh. Freezing. Explosive. Okay. Well, here's two more 8 8s. I'm at 35, you're at 6. I got that in play. <laughs> Close game. Close game indeed.